Buenos días, hello everyone. This is Glenn Irvin, Irv Spanish, and this is a quick tip about creating a test or quiz inside of Schoology and making sure that t that test or quiz is secure. In other words, students aren't going to be able to share answers with other students once that test has happened. So I had a teacher concerned about this kind of security. And so what I did is uh, I explained basically what was the difference between uh, the different types of setting within a test or quiz that relate to viewing the submission. So once it's actually happened. So let's take a look down here. We have some different options down here on view submissions. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. And here are our three options. We have can they view the submissions and I'm going to put no here. And then let's take a look in student view of what that actually means. If you put it in no, uh, I'm going to go ahead and press save changes here. And then let's take a look uh, in a student's view of this uh, test view submissions. So we'll go view course as our sample students. And remember, we've marked no there. So let's see what can they actually see after the results of a test or quiz. So if we click on it, this student, uh, our sample student, can see their score over here. It says they received a 2 out of 5. But they don't have access to any of the questions. Uh, can't go back and look at any of the stuff that they actually did. What if we go ahead and change that setting how does that look as far as the student view? Let's do that. So we're going to say now, yes, they can see the uh, results or the submissions here. And this is where I would recommend setting it right after or uh, right during a test. So let them go ahead and see uh, their results. And then possibly after they take that test, you may want to switch this to no if you had students that still need to make up that test or quiz. So students that weren't actually there so that the students that were there can't share you know, their correct answers. But let's take a look at yes here and let's press save. And then we're going to go view course as our student here, our sample student. And let's go back into that test. Now let's see what they can do. Okay. So a couple things happened here. We still have that score here, but this all appeared here now. It tells me when I took the test or when this uh, sample student took the test. And now they can actually view the assessment. So let's take a look at that. So they can see the questions. Here are the questions. And they can see if they got that question right or wrong. So it tells them, yes, it's checkmark green. Yes, you got that one right. You got one out of one. And you can see here. But when they got something wrong, it just tells them, hey, you marked B here and you got it wrong. It doesn't tell them that what the correct answer is, but it does give them a hint that, hey, B is incorrect here, that the number 60 is incorrect, so on and so forth in these right here. So, of course, if we go back and we say yes with the correct answers, it's going to show us the, uh, the test, and now it should show us not only the submission, but it tells us which one is correct. And this would be fine for a review or something that you were using as far as for class. Or maybe at the end, you want them to actually know, hey, uh, this was the actual correct answer. The only thing is, is if you do this option and you had a student that was not there and you're still using this exact same test, not using a test bank or something like that, then you may not want to use this yes with correct answers here. Let's go view course as our sample student on this last one here. And then um, let's see what, what all can they see here. They should be able to, again, when they took the test, how long it took. They got a 2 out of 5. Let's view the assessment. And this time, these look the same because they got those correct. But look at this one right here. This is the big difference here. It says, question number 3, you wrote down B, but the actual correct answer was C. So again, it's fine for a review or if something that you're going to, that you're okay with sharing the correct answers, then you can go ahead and do it there. If you, let's say you use the question bank, so you have a variety of different questions. But if you're using this exact same test and one of your students was absent and you give this view, then they're going to be able to tell that student, hey, 
the answer is 90 through 100, for example, on this one right here. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. Adios. Hasta la vista.